thank you, B-Love, for talking about this recipe on your December 2nd episode when you're eating TGIF spicy Alfredo with chicken and um, shrimp. Look delicious. But she also talked about some quick meals. So I took it upon myself here at Carter's Eat to try them out with my kids, my family, and I think they're going to turn out fantastic. I'll be sure to let you see that at the end of the video. Welcome, Welcome to the live. Welcome, Welcome to the live. Uh, uh, uh. Welcome, Welcome to the live. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Carter's E. We're getting ready to get into this next video, so thank you for coming by. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Get here, get here, get here, get here. Get here. If this is your first time here, please subscribe. Bing, bing. We are getting rid of our leftovers, and we've got leftover turkey. Um, I heard this on B Love's channel. December 2nd's recording, B Love's channel, she was talking about cooking her turkey in the uh, crock pot. But I know that when you have leftovers, we can also do something with that turkey. And I listened to her instructions and I listened to her recipe. And here is a clip of it right here. I love putting a turkey oh. into a crock pot. Mm -hmm. Put your leftover turkey. turkey soup and the toe tapper is I always did turkey soup on the stove vinegar a handful of rice leftover turkey the bone carrots green beans serve it up turkey soup B loves was very similar so we're gonna give it a shot right now so let's get into the video we got chicken broth she noted oh there it is Garlic and onion powder. My Lowry's. Lowry's. Carrots. Frozen green beans. And some frozen peas. Some olive oil just to make some extra oil. Tablespoon of butter for taste. Y'all know I'm pressed for time. It's time to get the kids, so we're gonna move quickly. Uh, we're gonna let this soften up and melt. Be love mentioned cream of chicken soup. I rarely, I don't think I've ever made a soup with cream of chicken, so we're gonna give that a go today. Plenty of leftover turkey. I know you have some too. So let's get right into this video and get that butter and oil melted up, drop this turkey in there, start getting the flavor in, get some Lowry seasoning salt on the turkey. You can see there's some gravy down in there. We added in the Lowry's. Now we're adding in the garlic salt, the garlic salt. Five shakes will do, five to six shakes. Some good old fashioned onion powder. Mm. 
there now. I think not a lot left. We used it for our dressing, our gravy. Go ahead and add that in there. We're just going to use the rest. See how we did that? We'll be adding in the string beans, the peas, and my fresh carrots. We're adding two cups of water. Okay, you guys, we've got it to a nice consistency. Let's have a look. There it is. Nice and creamy. It's coming together. We're about to add the uh, cream of chicken. As be instructed, some onions and the carrots and peas, and I'll let you see it. Guys, we are ready to show you everything in the pot. I don't want to take for granted that everybody knows who Be Love is. She is a major mukbanger on the YouTube platform, and uh, on the December 2nd video, she did talk about one of her favorite recipes to make for her children with leftover turkey or with turkey in the crock pot. So what I've done is taken leftover turkey and put it in the crock pot and letting it cook before the kids get home. So I wanted to let you see what it looks like um, in the crock pot while I put my feet up for a while and just let it cook. We've got the orange peppers, red peppers, we've got your green beans and we've got some peas in here and carrots. No, we'll serve it over rice. That's what she recommended. So I'm gonna see how this Be Love recipe works out. Thank you, beloved, for beloved, be love. There it is in the pot. And I need to get my wooden spoon out, but I wanted you to see we got the peas, we got the green beans, carrots, peppers, cream of chicken. We got some onion in there. I have to have it big because the kids are going to want to pull the onion out, but it is good for flavor. So I'm using the red pepper and the orange pepper for flavor, the white onion for flavor. We've got your peas down here and we've got your green beans and we're gonna let this cook up and we'll see how it is in about an hour or so. Okay, you guys? I do add a little sugar to my stuff. Oh. And I know y'all probably be as crazy. Some of y'all do that because I've heard a lot of people that cook with a little pinch of sugar here and there. You guys should know I am attempting to do what Be Love is saying do. So I'm adding a smidgen of sugar just a, just a pinch, just a pinch to the, to the food. Because some people, there's a bag of chips. Thank you so much for joining us on Carter's Eat. I'm excited to see what the kids think about it this evening. And thank you, beloved, for talking about this recipe on your December 2nd episode when you're eating TGIF spicy Alfredo with chicken and um, shrimp. Looked delicious. But she also talked about some quick meals. So I took it upon myself here at Carter's Eat to try them out with my kids, my family. And I think they're going to turn out fantastic. I'll be sure to let you see that at the end of the video. This is your first time here. Comment, commit, and stick. Comment, commit, and stick. Comment, commit, and stick. Here at Carter's Eat. I'm Lisa. My husband likes to cook. He's author. We've got two kids, AJ and Blake, seven and four. Me, Mom, and Papa also live with us. But today we are whipping up. A filler I call it more of a filler so not quite a soup it's more of a topping that we're gonna put on top of rice I think I'm gonna enjoy it it smells fantastic I gave you guys all the ingredients that B suggested be sure to watch her video to hear her talk about how she prepared meals in the past and how she wants to walk in and smell an abundance of um, aromas knowing that dinner is done it's in the comments uh, by green organics daughter Shannon she is on Instagram Thought I'd just give her a shout out today and I'll let you guys see the finished product shortly. Let's get right back to you. Back again, I just thought of something many of you may or may not know. B started out cooking. I, I bumped her up to St. B. St. B, one thing I can tell you is this looks amazing. So before I put the lid on and go get the kids, I just want to show you guys how pretty this all is once you stir it up. It is sure enough going to be nice and flavorful, I do believe. All right, you guys, I'll be back with you shortly. We'll see the finished product, okay? Thank you for coming to Carter's Eat. Okay, so Blake is home. I'm back. But we've done exactly what B-Love said. We've got the cream of chicken, leftover turkey, my turkey soup always has vinegar in it and it's cooked on the stove 
and I put corn, peas, green beans, and just the broth. I thought I would give this a go, turkey with the cream of chicken, and then I added in the vegetables. But thank you, B-Love, for the idea. It looks amazing, and we're gonna let Blake taste it shortly. Look, guys. Fantastic. So this, I will say, the beloved B-Love surely knows what she's talking about when it comes to food. If you don't know who B-Love is, Google it. She was on Good Morning America. She's one of the top producers on YouTube. She's an African-American female. And we are quite proud of her in the mukbang community. But I'm going to show you what this looks like on top of rice. It could be a soup, but I'm going to go as a topper. And we'll get Blake to sample it and let you know what her thoughts are. I stand corrected. B-Love mentioned two turkey dishes that she did. One was with the turkey in the crock pot, and then was, the other was her turkey soup with leftover turkey. Um, so be sure to watch the December 2nd episode on B-Love's channel. Down so everybody knows what. Ah. Ah. Blake, Blake, did you see it? What do you think of it? Doesn't it look outstanding? Yes. You ready to try some? Um, I don't like. Whoa, you can't, that's carrot. Everybody loves carrot. I don't like carrot or booby. Okay. All right, ready? Let me blow it. Blake's gonna have the next one. Blow. Where are you putting this right here? Well, this was in my car. I don't know. It, just, it goes over in my insurance section. And Blake, here's your sampling. And we both got the bean. Bean? The peas. The peas. The peas. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Here's our finished product, the topping on top of rice. Blake's got a little dance behind it. I got the can. Give me some without, like. You hear it? You hear it? Yeah, maybe. Boo de be, boo de be, boo de be. Mom, why are you telling us you love to watch Tokyo again? Food, everybody, yeah. Tokyo. Tokyo. I mean, Tokyo's. Uh, Fantastic. Can I taste it again, but without anything on it, mm -hmm. just the chicken and rice? Yeah, can I have it too? Oh my goodness, like the kids are asking for more. Uh-oh. I need to know, do you want the haddock, or do you want the salabia? Shots getting the salmon. I'm making y'all get enough. Everybody eat. There's your proof. AJ is throwing down. Be love. Thank you for telling us about leftover turkey. Oh. Thank you for introducing us to cream of chicken. I don't use it here often in this household. So thank you for advising us on this recipe in the crock pot. It turned out to be a winner. Thank you. Thank you for coming to Carter's Eat. Subscribe. Look at AJ. Look at AJ. Oh, okay. Still going. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And be sure to come back and watch other videos at Carter's. Do or die, open up your eyes, head to the sky, keep a mean bad mommy on the side. Make a tsunami, kamikaze on the mind, spit flow, paparazzi, flash shine, get dough, champagne.